customs duty on all goods imported from Pakistan hike to 200% Finance Minister Aaron Jaitley has announced basic customs duty on all goods imported from Pakistan has been raised to 200% with immediate effect. This comes after India revoked Pakistan's MFN, most favoured nation, status following the Pilwama attack, in which 40 CRPF personnel were martyred. India had granted the status to Pakistan in 1996, a year after WTO's formation. The Cricket Club of India covers Pak PM's portrait over Pilwama attack the prestigious Cricket Club of India. CCI, in Mumbai covered a portrait of Pakistan Prime Minister and 1992 World Cup winning Captain Imran Khan to protest against the terror attack on CRPF convoy in J&K's Pilwama. We have photographs of past and present cricketers from all countries. We wanted to show displeasure on whatever is happening right now, CCI President Prema Ludani said. Guwahati professor suspended over Facebook post on Pilwama attack Papri Banerjee, an assistant professor working at Icon Commerce College in Guwahati, has been suspended by the institute over a Facebook post on Pilwama attack. Banerjee had condemned the attack but also blamed the Indian Army for atrocities on civilians in Jammu and Kashmir. Banerjee said she received threats and intimidation over the post from different users. Pack Kids Dance to Dil Hai Hindustani Schools registration suspended Pakistani authorities have suspended the registration of a school in Sindh after some students danced to Fear Bhi Dil Hai Hindustani and waved India's national flag during a cultural event. Promoting Indian culture in educational institutions was against Pakistan's national dignity which could not be tolerated. The Directorate of Inspection and Registration of Private Institutions, Sindh said, and Trump's choice for U.S. Ambassador to UN Heather now at withdraw cis President Donald Trump's choice for the country's ambassador to the UN, Heather Nowat has withdrawn from consideration for the job for family reasons. The past two months have been grueling for my family, she said. Trump had said he would nominate now it for the UN position to replace Nikki Haley, who resigned at the end of 2018.